Hi, welcome to this session. This is task 3 using Windows Action Center. In this task, you will learn how to use Windows Action Center. The Action Center provides an at a glance of the system state of your computer. Um, it provides a real-time notification via a flag in the system tray that alerts you of possible issues like uh, updating anti-spyware web program or setting up windows backup, backup and other system related notifications we are going to be doing this in our portal so we jump back in our portal we are going to be using the practice lab dc01 which is a server so now we're going to our portal we are back into the portal so we are going to go to put in our password to log into the system so now we're in the system we're going to search for action center we're just going to type action center now we have our action center click on it now this is the dialog box for the action center as we can see there are no issues here at the moment if there are issues we are going to see some red icons here to tell us that there are issues for us to resolve so there are no issues here now let's click on windows update to see now it's telling us to update our pc we can click check for updates now to check for updates if there are updates it's going to install those updates for us um, let's click uh, change them um, change update setting now we're going to put this to install updates automatically which is going to install updates on this system if there's any update at any point in time we're going to click ok so now it's still checking for updates um, we're going to go back to the action center page we'll click on troubleshoot to see if there's anything that has happened previous times so click on history and um, we see that this uh, windows network diagnosis was done on the system that was you know try to troubleshoot to see what was wrong we are going to close this and just check on reliability reliability monitor i'm going to type reliability The reliability monitor gives us a, a timeline of this computer's reliability and um, because this is a visual machine we may not find any historical timeline on this computer however on the actual system we might see details about our computer um, okay i'll just show you from my own system let's see what has happened you see from my own system we can find out that there are some mysteries because this is a real system but on a visual machine you might not get any of this history um so we have come to the end of this tax this is tax for collect system information you can collect information about the hardware and software settings of your machine in your network or in your local machine by using the system information and this is a useful program for collecting comprehensive data about your windows we are going to be doing this with, with our practice lab dc01 which is a windows server so we are going to go back into our portal so we'll see how we're going to do it now we're back into our portal we're going to put in our password now that we've logged in we're going to system information, we'll click on start. We're going to type MS info 32. We'll click on system info. Now this is the system information page. This is what information we have for our system or on the Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2. It's a virtual machine you have all this information down there you can scroll down and see what is more the system now we can also save this data here we're going to click on file click on export 
Now we're going to save it as the name of our system, which is PLAB DC01. I'm going to save, save the file. Click on save. Now it's extracting the information to save exporting the data. After I finish saving, I'm going to click on File Explorer. I'm going to go to Documents because we saved it in Documents. This is the saved data. You can open it and see what is that is all the information we have that we exported from the system information. We can also get information from our remote system, which uh, we can get from Windows 8. So we are going to collect information from Windows 8. We are going to go into our Windows 8. Now we are in Windows 8. We are going to put in our password to log in. Now we are in, in our Windows 8. We are just going to do a small configuration so that we will be able to access the information from our domain controller. We are going to click on uh, this network bar we'll right click on it click on network open network i'm going to go to control panel click on system and security i'm going to go to windows firewall i'm going to allow an app or future through windows firewall we'll click on it now we are going to allow windows management instrumentation to to go through the firewall i'm going to screw this down to the bottom part i'm going to click on windows management instrumentation now we're not going to select public or private we click on ok i can close this one now we have to go back to our plab dc01 we click on it now we need to note that um, Windows Management Instrumentation service must also be running on this um, PC so that we'll be able to collect information from our Windows 8. And uh, let's just quickly verify that. Let's click on Start. I'm going to go to Control Panel. Type Control Panel. Click on Control Panel. Click on System and Security. I'm going to click on Windows Firewall click on allow an app of future through windows firewall now we're just going to scroll down to windows management instrumentation see it is allowed on this server and cancel and close this now we're going to assess uh, the system information in our windows 8 i'm going to click on view click on remote computer now we're going to click on remote computer on the network now we are going to put the name of our windows 8 practice lab we're going to type p lab win 810 i'm going to click on ok now this is the information on our windows 8 the system information of our windows 8 if you look at it here to show that we are on our windows 8 so these are the informations available on our Windows 8 machine on the other side of the network so we can also um, save this information of the Windows 8 we we'll click on file click on export now we're going to save it as plab win 810 just as we saved the one for this DC01 we'll click on save how it's going to export our information. It's exporting it. Exporting the information to where I've saved it. We'll just click on this file explorer. We see now we have the information saved here so we can open it and view it and see more details of our Windows 8 machine. Um, at this point, we have come to the end of this task. That's for display structure directories for data management. In this session, we will perform the task to add 
locations to libraries um, a library is a system folder provided for user as a location for personal files like documents music pictures and videos um, a user can customize and add items in the library for easy access to his personal or work files in this tax one understand libraries and we will learn how a folder called libraries work um, we're going to do this in our portal so we're going to go back to our portal in our practice lab windows 8 so now let's move into our portal now we're in a portal so we're going to log in but we're going to be using the user john smith i'm going to type in john john smith put in our password and click on enter we shall say yes now it's signing in waiting for it to set up signing up um, since this is the first time we're logging in as john smith it's going to set up a few things for us um we're just going to wait and allow it to set up now it has finished setting up we're just going to click on agree for this to go off now we're going to go to fire explorer we click on fire explorer scroll up a little bit we will navigate to favorite folder and we'll click on desktop then we'll go and click on our libraries folder to click on it now it opens we see now we have different folders here the documents music videos pictures now we can also access this libraries folder from well, from this pc let's expand this so we can just come up here on this address bar and type in libraries just click on this so we also get back into the libraries folder so now we have been able to access our library folder and this marks the end of this tax and task two add folders to libraries in this tax we are going to be adding more folders to our library folders um, we're going to be doing that in our windows 8 so we're going to jump back into our portal okay we're back in our portal so we're going to be adding a folder into the libraries folder um, okay we're going to be adding this downloads folder into the library so we'll right click on it click on include in library we're going to put it in the documents folder we're going to click on that now we are going to go back to check our libraries to see if we have the folder in there double click on libraries I'm going to open documents click on open now you see we have our new folders that, that we included here in the documents library folder now we are going to create a new folder and we are going to add it to our libraries folder we will create a new folder here we will name it um, we're going to name it John Smith Marketing. Click on right click, click on new, click on folder. So we're creating a new folder. We're going to name it John Smith. John Smith Marketing. So now we're going to add this folder into our um, libraries folder so it's just same process again we're going to right click on this folder we're going to include in library we'll click on documents so now when we go back to our libraries folder we'll see that we have that folder also in the libraries so we'll right click on documents open so now we also have the john smith folder that we created in the c drive it's now in our libraries folder also okay now navigate back to favorite so we're going to click on desktop double click on libraries and double click on documents so we see that we have all the two subfolders we created here in this libraries folder um, 
now I think you will be able to create or add folders to the libraries folder. And this marks the end of this session, this tax. Um, task 3, view library system folders. In this tax, we will find the exact location where the library's folder originates in the Windows file system. We're going to jump back into our portal. We're back in our portal. We're going to click on view. Then we're going to click on options. We'll click on change folder and search options. And from this folder options, we're going to click on view. Next, we are going to click on show hidden files and drives. I'm going to click on OK. Next, we're going to click on look at this C. I'm going to go to users. We're going to click on users. I'm going to double click on John Smith. Next, we're going to click on app. Double click on app data. Next, we're going to click on roaming. Click on Microsoft. I'm going to double click on Windows. Now we're going to double, double click on libraries. We're going to double click on documents. Now we are back to our libraries folder where we have those folders we added and the one we created. Now this is the complete part on how to get the libraries folder in the Windows system files. So this is the process on how we go and look for the libraries folder where it's located and this marks the end of this section tax for adding a shortcut for libraries um, a shortcut provides an easy access to folder or program located deep in the windows um, windows file system um, in this tax we will create a shortcut for libraries folder for the purpose of convenience we are going to jump back into our portal and in our Windows 8, we are going to demonstrate it. Hi, we are back into our portal. We are going to click on desktop. Now, we are going to be creating a shortcut for this libraries folder. Or what we are going to do, we are just going to click on it down, drag it to the desktop. And release the mouse. So now we have created a shortcut. So instead of going through File Explorer, we're just going to double click on double click on this folder to take us to our libraries folder. Now we're back into our libraries folder. Double click on Documents, take us to uh, where we have our John Smith folder. Um, now I'm sure you'll be able to create a shortcut for your libraries folder. This marks the end of this tax on that's five create new library um, in this section we are going to create a new library now we are going to go back into our portal to demonstrate this okay we are back into our portal we are going to click on favorites we are going to right click on desktop we are going to go include in library we are going to go to create new library so now our new library has been created and it appears down here now we see to desktop subfolder we're going to click on favorites again we're going to click on favorites then we're going to click on desktop click on desktop we're going to double click on libraries now you notice that we have a new library folder added which is called desktop and um, now we have come to the end of this tax and i will see you in the next video i want to thank you for viewing